Hey, hey, beautiful peeps, locking down the truth with Marcy Locke. So of course I just finished getting my workout on uh, in the gym and what I found interesting is there was a guy there that, uh, I'll actually share a picture with you, I took a picture of the guy that uh, had a whole cast on his leg and he was in a little wheelchair thing but yet he was wheeling himself around and then like kicking ass, doing stuff, modifying. And this is, this is such a key point in you getting results in your life is what, whatever circumstance shows up for you, whatever resistance shows up in your life, how you choose to respond is exactly what you're asking for. So what's interesting and what I think most people don't know is that your ego mind knows every little trick and secret to keep you hiding in the scared little shadows of your, your, your scared self versus operating out of your higher self. And so as we've gone through our life experience and developed the belief systems that we have and our identity and all the patterns and behaviors to keep us in our comfort zone, what happens is the ego mind knows all the, these little tricks and secrets and triggers that keep you staying in that comfort zone of what you believe you deserve and what you believe you're worthy of and what you expect. Because you're always gonna get from the world and from life what you expect. And so let's say for instance, let's take this example of, of somebody with an injury. And if, if you have a belief system that um, you know, you're not worthy of life being easy and the body rocking and maybe your experience has been that so you've done the diets and things over and over maybe there's a belief attachment to you're gonna be judged that you're a bad mom or maybe there's a fear of connection to a, a negative attention from men or attention that scares you all these thoughts and perceptions and belief systems attached to you can't have it is why you'll create resistance showing up. So how many times have you started on uh, a, a program or a process or a commitment to I'm gonna you know work out and I'm gonna feed my body healthy and I'm gonna do this and what happens is all of a sudden something shows up like you know an injury or sickness or oh just people happen to come in town or this showed up or oh this project came on my plate or whatever it is. These are all your creations of resistance to keep you in your comfort zone. So when an injury shows up, let's say for instance you put out there, I'm gonna do a marathon or I'm gonna do this race and there's this deep internal fear of I might not be successful, it might not look a certain way, it might not be good enough and so you're scared you're gonna fail or you're not gonna be, it's not gonna be good enough and so hence you've gotta create something to keep you in that comfort zone of not achieving or not moving past that comfort zone. So you create an injury and how you respond to the injury is, so if you say, oh yeah, I was, I was working out, I was you know trying for this or I was gonna do that race and then you know I injured my ankle. And so you choose from injuring your ankle, that means I'm done, I'm stopping, I'm not doing. And what happens then is that you create the, the you tell your ego mind and the universe you declare, yep, this is exactly where I stay, this will always stop me and this will always work. And so then what happens a month later, you, you, you know, you recover or you, you start on the same path and process again. You're like, oh, I really want the body or I really want to, you know, you're uncomfortable again. So you start on a path and a process. What happens again? Same shit in a different way because you already declared the moment it happened, this is how I choose to respond is that this stops me. So do this every time. This will always set me back in my comfort zone. So guess what? This applies to money. This applies to everything else. If money is always your shit that shows up and I don't have the money to do this, to do that, once I have the money, I will, same ass shit. You even go on the path and the process to start to create the money and get the money and guess what happens? Something's gotta happen and be created for you to, to for the money to go somewhere else, for the money to disappear. Because you declared in the very response that I'm not worthy, I'm not giving myself permission, I'm not taking a step towards what I want, I'm gonna respond that this stops me. I can't do it. I'm not worthy, I'm not having it. So again, this is like, when you when you recognize that in, you now have a choice to respond differently, how you choose to respond. If you want something, anything, and you're not moving towards it in some way, you're in some sort of bullshit validation, story, or excuse. You can have reasons or results, but you can't have both. So if, if the excuse, I can't because, your mind goes, oh, yep, you're right, because remember all those times you failed and you got this and you got this and you got this, you got all these reasons, you're right, you can't. And it finds and looks for that as validation and that as support of that. Instead of you said, hmm, I want this, so hmm, what would be possible? How could I create that? What, what, could I, what else could I try? And you ask faith questions, wonderment, curiosity, excitement questions, and you go decide even the tiniest inch you're saying I declare I'm worthy I'm giving myself permission I can have this I get to do this and you take that little inch so for instance this guy that has an injury in the gym he didn't say uh, you, you any injury you can do anything else so it's like if you injure your ankle your foot he had a fucking cast on half of his leg and he's strolling around in the wheelchair getting off of it and doing arm stuff and doing other core stuff and doing anything there's always limitless possibilities so whatever you choose to look for you find 
if you're looking for a solution, you'll find a solution. If you're looking for blame and the reasons why you can't, guess what? That's exactly why you have what you have. So just a quick thought that if you want something and you're not declaring, I'm worthy, I'm giving my, myself permission and looking for the ways to create it, even the tiniest inch of moving forward, you're declaring, this stops me, I'm not giving myself permission, I'm not worthy, and you just create the same resistance showing up, the same stuff showing up. To, tomorrow can only be different if you do something different today. So take that in. This is Marcia Locke reminding you, power of choice is yours. Choose your best life. Love ya. Lock it down.